Hey guys, welcome back. If you guys are new here, my name is Savannah and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a classic red holiday look. So it's really super simple, basically just like a red lip, um, but full coverage, glowy skin, healthy looking skin, um, things like that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below before we jump right into this video. I feel like this video is going to be super quick because it's basically just like the face, no eyes. Um, so yeah, let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to dip into is my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This stuff is so bomb, you guys. If you guys haven't tried this stuff, it's a little bit on the pricey side, not going to lie. But I feel like it's totally worth it. So basically, uh, when I use this as a primer, I like to apply, um, apply it only to like the high points of my face. But I'm going for like the extra glow today, so I'm just going to apply it everywhere. This primer has like gold flakes in it, or not gold flakes, but like an iridescent like shimmer to it. I love, love, love this backlight priming filter. Like this is literally like just with the priming filter on. Can you see this glow right here? For foundation today, we're going to be using my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup um, in W3. I like this foundation because not only does it have SPF in it, which is very important in a foundation, um, but it's buildable coverage, so you're able to um, do like a light layer and do like lighter coverage and then build it up to um, the coverage that you're personally looking for, which is um, full coverage for your girl. So what I like to do to get that full coverage is do two like little smears of foundation on each cheek one um, on the chin and the nose and one on the forehead and then I'll go in with a foundation brush and start spreading it all over the skin like this using a really light hand And then go ahead and blend that baby out with a damp beauty sponge. You want to make sure that you always blend your foundation into your hairline and down your neck. And this foundation is also great because it doesn't give you like a super matte finish either. Like you can still see that backlight priming filter right underneath. So it still gives you like that glowy skin, healthy looking glow. So now to start concealing these under eyes. I'm going to start by using my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I don't believe this has like a shade or anything. I think this only comes in one like color. But it is like the pinky-ish peach tone. And what I like to do with this is just dab into it with an angled brush. This one is from Morphe. And then go ahead and place that right in the under eye area. Keeping it only right there where that darkness is. And then we're going to go right on top of that with this NYX HD Concealer in the shade CW05. But we're going to bring this and down in a triangle motion. I'm running out, I need to go get more. And then go ahead and buff that out with the damp beauty sponge as well. And you're gonna wanna take that on the eyelids as well. Cause we're not gonna be using any eyeshadow today. But you still want that area really bright. And now to set my under eyes and my T-zone area, I'm gonna use my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Translucent Light. Go ahead and look up one more time. Take out any creases. Stay looking up. Dip into your powder. And set. Also gonna take some of that powder on the forehead area, bridge of the nose, chin, and smile lines. You're gonna wanna go ahead and buff out your eyelids as well, so go ahead and hit them one more time. Get out those creases as well. Stay looking down. And put some powder on those babies as well. 
Now to set the rest of the face, we're going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless Face Powder in the shade 220. And I'm just using this Morphe MB1 brush. And I like to go in circular motions just because I feel like you get a more even application like that. And then go ahead and take this Sonia Kashuk number 115 stippling brush and just blend everything out. Go ahead and get rid of all that other powder. And then I like to go in with my Morphe M438 brush and kind of just get really close on the under eye to get any powder that may be just hanging out down there. Now we're gonna go ahead and start adding some color to the face. I'm gonna be using my number seven bronzer in the shade Caramel. And I'm gonna be using my Morphe M527 brush to apply it. And just go ahead and hit the hollows of the cheekbones with this. And notice that I'm holding the brush kind of towards its end. That's because I want it um, to have very light pressure and the brush to kind of flow just on its own on the skin. So it just gives you a really nice blend. Nice little wash of color. Now for blush, I'm going to use my Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush in the shade Baby Love. And I'm using my Wet n Wild Angled Contour Brush to apply this. I wanted to keep the blush kind of on the nude side since we are going to be having a pretty bright red lip. I wanted to keep the cheeks kind of neutral. So I like to just apply this to the apples of my cheeks. And then slightly blend it backward to meet up with that contour. Give it a nice little blend. And then I'm gonna go back in with that Sonia Kashuk stippling brush and just lightly run it all over the skin again. Make sure everything is real nice and blended and removing any excess powder. And for highlight today, I'm going to be using my Desi and Katie collection um, with Dose of Colors. This one, this highlighter is in the shade Fuego. And I like to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water to kind of spritz the brush and get it a little damp. And then go ahead and dip into the highlighter. And we're going to apply this to the high points of the face. So right here on the cheekbones. Above the brow. Dragging it a little bit downwards to meet up with this cheekbone highlight on the tip of the nose, on the cupid's bow, and just a little bit on the chin. And once again, go in with that Sonia Kashuk brush and blend everything together. Just running it all over the face. And now I'm going to go ahead and use that same Smashbox primer water and spritz it all over the face. This is really just going to absorb any excess powders that you have on your face, give your makeup a little bit of rejuvenation, and your skin a nice little healthy glow, as well as set your makeup. So it's basically like an all-around face spray, which I love. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. So the only thing that I'm going to really do to the eyes is do some winged liner, since we don't have any eyeshadow going on. So for that, I'm going to use my NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black. Now for lashes, I'm going to be using my Salon Perfect Demi Wispies, and they also have like a pretty thin band, so they're easy to like maneuver. And I'm going to go ahead and disguise the lash band a little bit and add some more um, black liquid liner. So once your lash glue is pretty much dry, go ahead and add some mascara so you guys can blend like the fake lashes with your natural lashes and then go ahead and put some mascara on the lower lash line as well. And then I am now going to take um, that same Desi and Katie Dose of Colors highlighter and apply it to my inner corner, to my like, uh, what is that called, tear duct area. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes 
To finish this look off, we're going to be using the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crimson, which is just a nice, beautiful, gorgeous ruby red. And there it is guys, there you have it. This wraps up this classic holiday makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I enjoyed creating it for you guys. This was super, super easy to create. Like it's nothing on the eyes, basically just a really nice bright red lip which makes it like a classic holiday look. I personally always love um, a good red lip. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. As always, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff will be in the bottom bar as well as all the products that I used in this video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button before you guys leave so you don't miss any of my new videos and turn your post notifications on so you will be notified every time I upload. I don't think I have anything else to say except thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!